Brace yourselves, folks. Scientists have discovered a mysterious superstructure under the Pacific Ocean, and it's so old that researchers are truly baffled. The incredible original footage is in this video, so be sure to stay tuned until the end. And if you like it, I'd be galactically happy to get a thumbs up and a comment because that's how we get the algorithm to show this exciting topic to even more people. Thank you, friends, and welcome. I don't know about you, but I find the deep sea incredibly fascinating. A secret world with animal species that we don't yet know about and geological processes that are still largely a mystery. In fact, the deep sea is less well mapped than the surface of the planet Mars. So we know alien worlds in space better than parts of our own planet. Crazy. Oceanography professor Robert Ballard put it nicely into words. The deep sea is the greatest museum on Earth. It contains more history than all the museums on land put together, and yet we're invading it now. And now it's getting even crazier, because now scientists have discovered not something in the deep sea, but a superstructure under the deep sea. The superstructure that has now been discovered under the Pacific is larger than the U.S. state of Idaho, or to put it in more German terms, three times bigger than Bavaria. However, there's no Dirndl Leber Kays or wheat beer there. From that point of view, I prefer Bavaria. Nevertheless, this discovery is super exciting. The name of the structure is the Melanesian Border Plateau, and its history goes back millions of years to the time of the dinosaurs. Scientists have painstakingly put together the pieces of this geological puzzle and have come to the conclusion that this massive underwater plateau was formed by four separate phases of volcanic eruptions, each with different causes. Such a geological development has never been discovered before, and the whole thing is really quite spectacular. But first things first. The Melanesian border plateau lies east of the Solomon Islands in the Pacific, a former German colony. And the seabed there is littered with countless underwater mountains and huge deep-sea volcanoes. These underwater volcanoes are considered to be the birthplace of life because the heat, energy, and rising gases could have given rise to the first biological structures. So without deep sea volcanoes, I wouldn't be able to produce this video for you and you wouldn't be able to watch it. Reason enough to say thank you. Why don't you all write thank you deep sea volcano in the comments? I think that's the least we can do. Until now it was assumed that structures like the Melanesian Boundary Plateau were formed by single, fairly sudden volcanic eruptions, but we were quite wrong, as a team of researchers has now discovered. Kevin Conrad, one of the authors of the new research paper says, there are some features in the Pacific Basin that look like a massive single event. Sometimes when we examine these features in detail, we find that they were actually built up over multiple phases over tens of millions of years. The Melanesian Boundary Plateau actually formed in four phases, as we now know, by examining rocks from different phases of the Earth that the researchers recovered from the depths of the ocean in this region of the Pacific, they were able to date these phases relatively precisely. In the Cretaceous period, around 120 million years ago, the formation of the plateau began with a huge eruption of basaltic lava. This created a huge underwater area that probably did not rise above the surface of the sea at that time. And then things really got going. Around 45 million years ago, Part of the Pacific floor drifted over a hotspot in the Earth's mantle, known as the Ruruto Arago hotspot. This led to the formation of an underwater mountain chain with islands that rose above the sea surface. These islands then eroded over time. The Melanesian Boundary Plateau then drifted over another hotspot, the Samoa hotspot. This hotspot is still active and forms today's Samoan Islands. Here you can see a 1905 eruption of Matavanu an active volcano fed by the Samo hotspot. In the last three million years, tectonic movement at the Tonga Trench has triggered new volcanic eruptions on the plateau. The Tonga Trench is a deep sea channel with a depth of 10 to 882 meters. It can therefore almost compete with the Mariana Trench. So we had four phases, one 120 million years ago, one 45 million years ago, one 13 million years ago, and one 3 million years ago. All of which led to the formation of today's Melanesian Boundary Plateau in the Pacific. But now I hear some of you saying, Who cares how this melanomic boundary thing formed, dude? 
The discovery of the Melanesian Boundary Plateau and its complex formation history has really far-reaching significance for the geosciences. On the one hand, it teaches us more about the development of the Earth's crust and mantle, and the new study shows that large underwater structures, which at first glance appear to be the result of a single cataclysmic event, can actually be built up over long periods of time by several volcanic eruptions. And we can use this knowledge to develop more accurate models for the formation of underwater structures and to better understand their impact on the environment. And this is just the beginning of a fascinating journey into the depths of the Pacific Ocean. It is believed that there are many similar complex underwater structures that are still waiting to be explored. This new discovery is therefore an essential step towards a better understanding of the deep sea and its secrets. Kevin Conrad and his colleagues at the University of Maryland and California State University Long Beach will soon be looking for more of these structures. He said, as we sample more, we'll discover even more complexity. And he suggests calling structures, such as the Melanesian Boundary Plateau, oceanic mid-plate superstructures to distinguish them from the large igneous structures that were formed by just one giant volcanic event. And ultimately, these discoveries about deep-sea geology and deep-sea volcanism are always one step closer to the answer of how life originated on our planet. Although the theory of deep-sea volcanoes is widely accepted, no one knows exactly how biological structures are formed there. Despite all our technological advances, no scientist knows how life is created from inanimate substances. I am always reminded of a beautiful quote by Arthur Schopenhauer. Any stupid boy can crush a beetle, but all the professors in the world can't make one. If that changes, I'll let you know straight away. And of course, as soon as we have gained new insights into the superstructures under the oceans. But that's only possible if you follow my channel. I know from YouTube statistics that over half of the viewers haven't subscribed at all. It's absolutely free. You'll never miss another galactic video and you'll help me reach 100,000 subscribers. So people, press subscribe. Thanks a lot. And it's not just at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean that a superstructure has been discovered, but also around our solar system. And it's shaped like a croissant. Find out why we are surrounded by a cosmic super croissant and other incredible findings about the solar system in the video below. Click on it to join me on a crazy journey through our cosmic home. And if you want to support my work, visit the Astro Shop, where you can buy the t-shirts from the videos and great plush planets. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.